All right, I'm going to show you the heretic Ed Fenninger mocking and making fun of the idea that James and Hebrews are written to Christians, making fun of the biblical fact that James and Hebrews are written to Christians. He's such a heretic. Watch this. The real issue book of Hebrews would, would, would break it. Isn't the fact that Paul wrote it, is who did Paul write it to? The church or the tribulation? The saints. That whole group of people that I mentioned believe that those uh, uh, Hebrews and James were not written to the church. They were written to tri the tribulation. The tribulation of Jews. That's why they always say, well, the 12 tribes of Israel, see that? Hey, they're just scattered tribes. See, look at that. Can't be, can't be church. Maybe Acts 2, you see all these Jews come from all over the world. Roman Empire. And then you read Hebrews. You say, see, it's the book to the Hebrews. Like, that's like, prove something. Yeah, and your church was Hebrew. <laughs> 50 years, all Hebrew. Go to the Jew first, then the Gentile. He does not understand the scripture. He's lost. That simple. Okay, you gotta wonder. I mean, why? Like, you know, I, I go, I've gone back and forth. I've gone back and forth, back and forth with those followers. You know, I just wonder, like, like how come we can't see this in scripture? But then I have to keep reminding myself that it's he's lost. It, it's just that simple. He's lost. He's not saved. He cannot understand scripture. He does not have the spirit of truth to guide him into all truth. John sixteen thirteen. It's that simple. He's he does not have an unction from the Holy One that he may know all things. First John two twenty. He is unsaved. He is still dead in trespasses and sins. But on this thing of Hebrews being of Hebrews being written to the church, Hebrews is not written to the church. Okay, every Pauline epistle mentions people who are in Christ. Search up the term "in Christ" in the book of Hebrews, and there is not a single mention of anybody being in Christ in the book of Hebrews. Not one mention. Okay, if Paul was speaking to the church, to the to the church, or just early Jews early Jewish Christians, he would have mentioned them being in Christ. He does mention brethren, but he's saying brethren according to the flesh, my kinsmen according to the flesh. You can read about that in Romans chapter 9 and Romans chapter 11, verse 1 to 2. Okay? And he says brethren, he's referring to his physical fleshy brethren, the physical Israelites. He's not talking about the church. He's not saying they're in Christ. If Hebrews is written to the church, Paul would have mentioned them, them being in Christ. They're not. It's not written to the Christian, not written to the Christian church, I'll put it that way. Here's one example from each Pauline epistle of people being in Christ, okay? Here's a verse from each Pauline epistle which talks about people being in Christ. Romans 8, 1, 1 Corinthians 1, 2, 2 Corinthians 1, 21, uh, Galatians 1, 22, Ephesians 1, 3, Philippians 1, 1, Colossians 1, 2, 1 Thessalonians 2, 14, 1 Timothy 2, 7, 2 Timothy 1, 9, and Philemon 1, 23. And of course, there's some Pauline epistles missing, but a lot of the Pauline epistles, you know, are continuations of each other. But there are people who are in Christ in Hebrews, or sorry, in, in the Pauline epistles. There's nobody in Christ in Hebrews. I guarantee they're probably going to take that and twist my words, uh, typical of them, because they have the lie to prove their point. They're liars, just like their father, the devil. You can see John 8, 44. So don't, don't be deceived by this fending right call to the lie and say, well, you know, Hebrews is written to the early church and James is written to the early church. Again, James, there's nobody in Christ in the book of James. It's written to the 12 tribes which are scattered abroad. When did, when did God scatter Gentile Christians or Jewish Christians abroad? He didn't. He stopped speaking to Christians. That's simple. So don't be deceived by this non-dispensational heresy of Ed Fenninger. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.